Hi, my name is Kirsten Foss and I'm a business coach for the spa industry. So I want to talk a little bit more about approaching our last quarter of the year of 2016. And this is a time where most entrepreneurs start looking back at what they've done through the year and looking at this last quarter as like, okay, this is our last push to really try to hit our, uh, our goals that we made last year. And I want that for you too. Now there's one aspect that I think uh, needs some attention from you. And this is something that I've been noticing as a spa consumer. And what I've been noticing has to do with conversations happening in the treatment room. Now you've probably heard me talking about uh, keep spa conversations in the treatment room 80-20. 80% we're talking about spa business or anything spa, beauty related, uh, pop culture, whatever's going on with crazy uh, beauty trends, that kind of thing. Just 80% of the time you want your service providers, your estheticians to be keeping it about spa business. The 20% is uh, you can allocate to talking about personal stuff. But usually what happens is it's actually the other way around where we're talking 80% of the time personal stuff with our clients and maybe, maybe 20% we're talking about spa business, which, which makes um, things like upselling or increasing your retail sales or increasing your pre-booking rates really difficult when you haven't really been talking about spa business at all during the treatment. So this, ha this what I want to talk about today has to do with conversations. Now, one of the things I notice from my own experience um, of having treatments, of being the consumer, is when the service provider is talking, I notice, especially if she's talking a lot and dominating the conversation, uh, what I notice is there's a couple of things that happen. One of them is her timing slows down which then, um, you know, unless she's a really, really experienced esthetician, um, then yeah, absolutely, you can talk and work, but those estheticians that are first starting out or still getting comfortable with their skill set should not be talking that much. You know how much focus it takes when we're learning something new and, and kind of growing through that learning, cur learning curve. We need a lot of our mental bandwidth to be focusing on our task so that our estheticians are paying attention to detail of their service, but that they're also you know, more engaged with you know, clients' needs. If you're busy talking all the time, you, you're not tuned in necessarily to the subtleties of what your client uh, needs or wants. So yeah, I think what needs to happen uh, as far as conversations in the treatment room, I think this attention needs to be brought up about talking too much in the treatment room. You know, when I say 80-20 conversations, 80% should be spa business, 20% should be um, personal stuff. That doesn't even mean you should be talking the whole treatment. I mean, you can, you gotta read your clients, but that just, it's just divvying up what your conversation's about. This has to do more with like really not focusing on giving the service uh, properly as they should. Now, these conversational distractions can absolutely take away from their own attention to detail to the service, but it also takes away from their ability to <clears throat> be thinking about the conversations that need to happen to increase your business outcomes. So, um, you know, there's a whole bunch of problems with conversations that typically happen in our treatment room. A, they're way too personal for way too long. B, there's probably way too much talking going on. And C, the bottom line is that uh, it's really distracting from uh, hitting your business goals. You know, it's always the, you know, it's always when we break things down and realize what the actual problem is around the, what the actual issue is, we realize that sometimes we can just tweak one little piece of our process. For example, cleaning up the conversations, coaching our team to not be talking so much in the treatment room, especially if they're new service providers or still learning their skill. Um, what they should be doing and what you wanna be coaching them on is asking clients questions and letting clients talk. It fills the space if clients need feel they need to fill the space, um, but it allows your service providers to 
not be having to come up with conversations. So they're using their brains to try and think up conversations rather than using their brains to focus on their skill set and using their brains to focus on what the business outcomes are supposed to be. So if you are struggling with your business or as far as um, you know your team remembering to upsell, your team you know working towards those retail goals, your team remembering to pre-book, all of those issues that you're having can be cleaned up by cleaning up the conversations that are having and happening in your treatment room. So take a look. You might want to have a treatment. You might want to have send a secret shopper and see what's actually happening behind closed doors. That may be the culprit to why you are frustrated and struggling with your spa business outcomes. Thanks for joining me.